the stage hermitage russia amazing museum introduction welcome to the stage hermitage museum in petersburg russia my name is pavel let me show you my home the greatest museum in the world it has a rich history more than three million work of art and has survived many disasters all of the characteristics make my home great but just you wait and see. History of the museum From 1762 to 1796, Catherine the Great was Russia Empress, which is like a queen. My great grandmother's grandmothers knew Catherine well. They live in the Winter Palace together. The Winter Palace is the largest building of the seven that make up the Hermitage today. The Hermitage began began as the art collection of Catherine the Great. Catherine began her collection by buying paintings in 1764. She bought 225 paintings by Dutch and Flemish masters. Like most collectors, Catherine continued to expand her collection over the years. Several of the paintings she collected were by famous artists, including Rembrandt, Rembrandt and Rubens. You can still see some of these paintings at the Hermitage. For more than 200 years, the collection has grown from those first paintings purchased by Catherine. It has become one of the world's largest and most impressive collections of art. It includes not only paintings, but also coins and medals, gold treasure, gemstone, books, armor, sculpture, furniture, and more. It's made my collection of shiny objects seem very small, but I am just beginning my collection. Come with me as I show you a few pieces in the Hermitage collection. My favorite art. Probably two of the most popular paintings in the Hermitage are by Italian artist Leonardo da Vinci. They are called Madonna with a Flower, painted in 1479, and Madonna and Child, painted in 1490. I can usually see both paintings up close sign them so small. There is almost always a crowd of people all around them. My favorite paintings are in the museum's collection of works by the French artist Gauguin. He has a whole room devoted to his work, as do other artists such as Picasso and Matisse. I can stay in the Gauguin room all day imagining myself of the island of Tahiti, where he painted many of the works in Hermitage collection. My other favorite work of art in the museum is the museum itself. Many of the rooms are elaborately decorated and painted. I feel as I'm inside a wedding cake whenever I walk into pavilion hall. Feelings like that keep me interested in exploring all the room, halls, and corners of the museum. Pretender to the throne. In one room, I can pretend to be Peter I. He ruled Russia from 1689 to 1725. His clothes, furniture, books, tools, and other everyday objects make up part of the exhibits in the collection. It's fascinating to peek into the life of a real Russian emperor. Museum faces disaster. Tourists explore the museum with me on most days. It makes me proud that Russian Emperor Nicholas I opened the museum to the public in 1852. He built a new building and called it the New Hermitage. It would have been terrible not to have this beautiful collection on display for all to see. But three times in the Hermitage, history disaster nearly destroyed everything. My great-great-grandmother survived the first disaster in 1836. A big fire at the Winter Palace threatened the collection palace. Palace soldiers took precious items from the palace out onto the square as fast as they could. Nearly everything was saved. My grandmother told me stories of the second disaster in 1917. A revolution happened in Russia. Nicholas II and the royal family were thrown out of the palace. The new government moved the art collection to the capital city of Moscow. No one really knew what would happen to the art. 
By October 1917, the ruling government lost its power. A second new government brought back the art and made the Winter Palace and new Hermitage a state museum. My mother survived the third disaster in 1941. German troops attacked it, and Russia was drawn into the Second World War. Over a million works of art were saved from the battle. Two special trains filled with art were sent to a remote part of Russia in the Ural Mountain. The German cut off St. Petersburg, then called Leningrad for 900 days. Hundreds of thousands of people, including Hermitage workers, died during the siege. Conclusion The Hermitage collection endured. It began as a small collection of paintings loved by Russia Empress. It survived several disasters. It has grown to become one of the oldest, largest, and most impressive collection of art enjoyed by the world. I live in the hermitage as my great grandmother's grandmother did for, for me. Now you too can see why the hermitage is the world's greatest museum and palace and place to live.